What's up, Common Fossil? We'll be taking a look at an upgraded Goldango EX deck. And this upgrade's a little more radical than some, uh, I would say. Main, on the engine, I, I switched up the engine, which is always, a, to me, a big part of the deck that I try to maintain. But I just think that the Curly engine just wasn't good enough. So uh, let's get into the, the changes primarily. So still four Gold Dingle EXs, a nice attack, make it rain, 50 per energy discarded from hand. So can ramp up quite nicely you just need to you need to be able to get cards in hand right so that's what we're trying to build the deck to do and it draws two coins with coin bonus that's very nice there and attacks for just one energy so very nice on a stage one um we i did change up the basics kept one copy of the gimme ghoul they this they were four copies of this gimme ghoul in in the original deck which has call for family which is good uh, it only grabs one though when it when, when, when it puts a basic into play so it's not great kept one copy added three copies of this other gimme ghoul because it's 70 hp so 20 more hp just helps up you know so uh if like a sable eye sprinkles around damage it, it's not quite so devastating so you know a little 20 hp um it helps right there and there are decks that do 40 or 60 on the first can 60 can happen on turn one so surviving that hit is a big deal uh kept the one mana fee because protecting the bench is still important added in one copy of radiant greninja you don't have one radiant pokemon you should already i think we already have a radiant greninja from one of the other starter decks if not you definitely want it it's probably the best all around of the radiant pokemon radiant charizard is also very good as well we can't attack with it so i get a little scared about having a pokemon that can get stuck in play um and i what one thing is i don't have professor tura scenario in this deck uh, I was kind of on the fence about that. Uh, you could copy, cut a, a, an Iono from the deck and add Professor Tura scenario. That just helps us get out of play with the kind of control decks that want to get stuck in the act, right? But its ability is very good. Concealed cards, discarded energy from hand, draw two cards. We just got to draw into our hand, and we have certainly ways to get energy from the discard pile back into hand. So discarding energy is okay. And then dropped the the Curlia engine completely. I just partly, I'm seeing a lot of iron hands, especially for the future hands build, and Curlias are just no good in that. Although, and any of these little engines are problematic with that, I gotta say. Um, but, with, but with the engine we go with, it does uh, get itself out of play. So it, it is a little better in that aspect. And actually, I think the Curlias discard one, draw two, wasn't quite good enough. So I went with a 2 2 to Dunce the Dunsparce line, and I haven't played, this is the first deck I've played it in, I'm really excited to, to play it and try it out. It's got the run away draw ability. Once during your turn, you can draw three cards. If you do, then you shuffle this Pokemon, all cards attached into your deck. So you, you, you shuffle in the Dunsparce and the, the Dunsparce into the deck, then you want to get the basic back into play right away. So you get three cards into hand, whereas with the Curly, it only grows your hand size. When you discard one, you draw two. Drawing three, I think this will work better. Um, and, you know, can't really afford a third copy of the Dunsparce. So if, if one's prized, either a Dunsparce or the Dunsparce, we're just working with a, with one copy for a bunch of the game. Uh, there is a, a Dunsparce that has higher HP, but this one has free retreat. So therefore, this is the Dunsparce of choice for this deck. Uh, energy is very similar. Some, some decks switch away from the Psychic, but kept the Psychic in the deck. Cut one Metal Energy. I don't love that, but we just need so many different trainers in the deck. Um, and, and there's a lot more trainers and trainer variety in this deck list now. So had to cut one Metal Energy from five to four. Don't love it, but I think it is necessary. And like I said, you know, we have a lot of ways to recover. So let's see. Get, getting into the list, I've added... Let's see. I cut the capturing aroma. You, you know I don't like that. That's a coin flip, and it's, it's uh, uh, heads or tails. Turns it's a, a, an evolution or a basic. I just ne I never enjoy playing that card, and and most lists aren't playing it. So I was very happy to cut that. Uh, the Iono count kept that in the list uh, down to two copies from four. Like I said, you could drop it down to one and maybe put in Professor Turo's scenario, which might be necessary in the deck. I, I don't love it, but it might be. Uh, kept Tulip in the deck, but down just to one copy instead of two. It is very good. We, we still have the Pal Pad, by the way, so we can recover two supporters at, at one time once over the course of the game. So you put any up combination of Psychic Energy, 
and Psychic Bait. Psychic Pokemon, Discard Pile into your hand, so just good there. Buddy Buddy Poffin still had that, but went from four to three. Just I, I, four copies is nice. I, I get it, but um, we need deck space, and you need four Battle VIP Pass because you ha could only play it turn one. Buddy Buddy Poffin going to three from four is a little bit better because you can play it the second turn. You can play it the third turn. It's, you, it's not that you, you don't just have to get it turn one. So therefore, down from four to three, I, I, again, deck space is an issue. Ultra Ball, also, we went from four Ultra Ball to three, really important, but just deck space is an issue. Down to one switch card, one switch instead of two. Uh, again, deck space. Um, you, you could add this in instead of maybe an Iona or something. Again, I think the Professor Turo scenario is better than a second switch, so I, I would add that first if you want to. And then at cards, we've added. Uh, let's see, there's two stadiums. I will mention that one, Pokestop. We have a lot of items, so Pokestop, you, you discard the top three cards of your deck. You put three, the items go into your hand, the others stay in, in the discard pile. So we have a lot of items, and items to recover energy and Pokemon, as well as we can recover things from the Pokemon and energy from the discard pile into hand or into the deck. So Pokestop is good because we just because we got to get set up and, and setting up always is a little bit tough uh, with the Goldingo deck. I didn't think the the Curlia engine was enough, so I think we just so trying the um, the Dunsparce, but I think Pokestop is a necessary supplement as well. Then two Lost Cities. Um, one of our Pokemon's knocked out, it goes in the Lost Zone, so it can't come back into play. So it's just a way to get rid of those really annoying Pokemon, like a Mimikyu or or Iron uh, Iron Hands, which is which is ugly. Just get it away, and hopefully, so that they can't bring it back into play, you don't have to see it again. I, I you know I just like that a lot in the deck. I think it's important there. Um, we're playing one copy of Arvin. Let's find out where it is. Right, put a, an item and a tool. Search for those. Put them into hand. Um, just important. We have a couple important tools, so Arvin helps us get that. Added three copies of Earth and Vessel. I think I mentioned that in the original video as a real consideration and decided, yes, it should go in. You discard a card from hand. You draw two, you search your deck for two basic energies. An item card, which again, Pokestop, so it works with that. And we just need to get energies in hand. So being able to get them more energies on an item is really, really good. Um, Nest Ball. We added two Nest Balls, partly because the Radiant Greninja is not uh, searchable by Buddy Buddy Poffin. So it just, and then another copy to get another Pokemon in play. So uh, two copies of Nest Ball. We added Counter Catcher, which is very good if you're behind on prizes, acts like a boss. Works paired, again, item pairs well with Pokestop. Getting set up is a little tricky, falling behind happens. What this deck does, if you fall behind, but then what you get to get set up on the bench and then just swing away and one-shot everything else. That's what part of what the deck wants to do. So having the counter catcher is very nice there. One copy of energy retrieval. I like it. A superior energy retrieval gets you four, four energy. This just gets you two, but you don't have to dis discard any cards in hand to use it. You just grab two ener basic energies from the discard pile into hand. So it's a nice add in the deck. Again, more copies of Alliance cards would be good, but, you know, there's just so many things this deck needs. Um, you know, consistency. I, I just get nervous when I go through the list because I'm like, going, how am I going to get the cards I need the turn? I need it. But the engine, you know, it, it's pretty good. Hopefully it gets us what we want when we get to it, right? Uh, one copy of Lost Vacuum. You discard a card, you lost on a card from hand, and you get rid of a stadium or tool that's in play. Um, you know, just can really help deal with, with some problematic cards there. So I think that's very important. Uh, maximum Belt is the A spec, right? Basically, every deck you want to add an A spec to if it doesn't already have one. And the, the Pokemon's attacks do 50 more damage to your opponent's active EX. So help really helps one shot the Charizard EX or any of those really tanky stage two EXs. So because we want to one-shot things, and it really is bad when you're coming up just short on an EX, Stage 2 EX. So Maximum Belt, I think, does make a lot of sense. And then added a card, which I don't play much at all, and that's Patrol Cap, but it can be very important. And partly with Arvin helps, you know, obviously we need to get it in hand. It's a tool, so Pokestop doesn't get tools to hand, so... Um, you know, you can discard it, which is unfortunate. The same thing as Maximum Belt, where if you hit those with Pokestop, you lose them for the game, which is which is, which is is a bit sad, but, it, you know, it's a risk you got to take sometimes. Anyway, what does the po Patrol Cap do? As long as this tool is attached to your active Pokemon, cards in your deck can't be discarded by effects 
of your opponent's attacks, abilities, items, tools, or supporters so that your opponent can't uh, eerie or eerie things away or airy um, its cards in your deck. So our uh, Misfortune Sisters doesn't work. Anything that, you know, there's control things and we need to get you know, the, especially the superior energy retrievals, we got to hang on to those. So it just gives us a little protection against losing some items. And um, yeah, I, I, I think with the, with the control things around, I think it is a necessary include right now. So that's the list. And um, I, I do think it is a big improvement. Let's take a look and see what the deck can do in action. All right, let's see what, what goes on here. I'm finding the deck to be coming for a little bit short. Um, I also am a bit tired, it's late in the day tired, and I'm a little bit sloppy in my play, which doesn't help, I, I grant you that. Um, but um, the deck is coming up just missing, just missing. Like last game, I think I, I needed to get a little lucky on my last turn. I, I had an opportunity, I'm, I'm not quite getting things set up like I should. Well, this is not the starter I wanted obviously, but let's see, am I going first or second? Um, I'm going second, so I can play Iono, <laughs> and so I play Iono and Hope um, up against a Roaring Moon deck. I don't love that, but I, you know, I need to set up. That's what needs to happen, so Ditching Boss, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased for that, right? Hopefully, because honestly, I would like to see them have to knock out the Mana Fee. That's what I want to see happen. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have a good turn, but I have to Iono. I, I, can, I cannot leave things the way they are, right? That's essentially a game loss if I do. Um, I'll drop down Goldengo. I mean, uh, give me Ghoul, because that's that has to happen, right? I'll drop down the guy with Call for Family just in case. I mean, that could be the play to make. Probably not, but it could be. So I, I'd like to get a couple more. I'd like to, you know, I'd like to not get that card. But all right, well, it is what it is. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's not good. Well, you know, I have gold. Day. You know, hopefully if they knock out my active, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're gonna have, they're gonna have to do some work to get to the Goldengo X. The Roaring Moon X one shots me. Obviously, um, well with the uh, artisan, thank you. That that's a big plus. Hopefully that sticks around. I would have loved access to that. I need obviously needed to get something else in play. Getting that a Dunsparce would have been huge. Um, artisan is very good, and if I'd love to see that. So they're playing Dunsparce as well. Okay, so. Uh, they're going to want to keep that in play right now. I don't think they have knockout even, or do they? I mean, I don't mind them knocking me out. They do, um, honestly, because I, I need to knock them out, and hopefully they can't not get the get the the follow up knockout on me. Right, that's the goal there. Okay, so drop that down. I will grab. I want to thin. You, you play. Use the artisan first. Let's see. The Dunsparce. Dunsparce. I think is what I want because I have a Gimme Ghoul in hand. So if I didn't draw the Gimme Ghoul, um, Tulip's not great. No, it's not good. I mean, I might end up having to retrieve an energy, that psychic energy, but I don't want to do that. Earthen Vessel, Buddy Buddy Poffin. Okay. Um, so let me. I need to get my bench set up. That's one thing for sure. Get him down, get him down. Drop down my other gimme ghoul. So getting, you know, yeah, I'll bench him. There's not a reason not to. I should, hmm, I mean, I could Uh, how do I want to work this? Do I want to... I don't think I want the tulip here, right? I'm willing to drop the tulip. I might want to... I'm trying to think, is there a reason I want to attack anything? Um, I mean, is there a reason I want to gust up? I, I don't know. I, if, I mean, right now... 
right now things are not looking good so let's see what i draw get rid of the, the psychic energy I, I need the metal to attack um that's not good that's not good um one two i mean wow Do I want to attack? I mean, how do I work this? Do I want to... Do I want an energy retrieval here? I think I do. Do I want to take the knockout? That's... I could take a prize, and I maybe I want to do that. It's not great, but I can do 100 damage. Knocking out their engine, actually, I think is the best thing for me to do here. Um... I think so. That's my thought. Take out the engine, because I don't one-shot the Roaring Moon, the single prize guy. So, um, obviously, if I had the four energies, I would have taken him out, but I couldn't get to that. So, I think taking out the engine piece just slows them down. Um, yeah. So, it, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a bit of an odd play. They don't. I, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be able to take me down this turn. It might even take a few turns. So you know, with, with the artisan, they keep getting the Duns, the Dunsparces down. So I want you know, I haven't seen the Goldengo decks playing the Dunsparce, but I I mean the uh, artisan. But um, okay, so so now you know, Explorer's Guidance is obviously very good for them. They have one, what, what, uh, what two. Right now, they're not doing much damage at all. So that's the good thing. I don't know if they play the EX or not, but they're not loading up the EX. The EX obviously would have been nice because the EX could one-shot me with its uh, first attack. So they're doing... It's very little poke. Very small, fairly meaningless poke. So that's okay. So now I need four energy. Um, let me draw the two here. First, I... I th okay, that's really nice there. So... I should be able to get knockout. Let me think. I want to keep drawing here. I'll just make this draw as well. Earth and Vessel. One, two. Well, I'm going to earth. Superior Energy Retrieval, four. So I want to get four energy in the discard pile, right? That's part of what I want to do. So get drop that. Grab one and one, because I might, you know, I might want to attach the metal if I could. I will discard here. Discard the psychic. I can get four. I, I can take the knockout, which is good. Um, oh, that's nice, actually. Maybe I'll, uh, how do I want to work this? I can get rid of... Do I want to use the the Dunsparce this turn? Do I do I just let's think? I or I can superior energy retrieval. That's an option too, right? If I I get rid of what the buddy poffin, I get rid of the energy. I guess I get rid of the basic energy. Grab it to Dunsparce. Get three more cards, right? I, I like that a lot, and um, it, it gives me guaranteed access to up to the energies I need. Um, because I don't really want to get rid of that superior energy retrieval. Okay, well, that's good. Um, wow, I would love to get rid of that tool. I mean, the stadium, but I don't think I can afford to. So I will get rid of this. I'll get rid of the earth. I'll get rid of this energy. I won't attach energy this turn. That's the downside, but I do get the knockout. One, two, three four right so there we go and I actually yeah I'll take it I'll use the stadium so it's sitting there I'll take advantage of that get down the the dun the dun sparse thank you very much there take the knockout uh, that's two more cards in the in the discard pile form so that's another so, you know, they're ramping up the damage, right? But it ramps up slowly. I don't know if they can one-shot me still. Or they can finish me off. I don't know if they can two-shot me. So, um, 
the, the, obviously the Dunsparce is a nice pivot card as long as you evolve to it. Well, first off, he's a basic and he can have he has free retreat, so he is a pivot. Um, and the, the Dunsparce, um, he goes out of play, so he he disappears. So as long as you can evolve him, you can get rid of him too. Um, so I don't think they can finish me off this turn. They might, they they, they might obviously, but. Hopefully not, right? This is going to be the if they have to if three shot me, um, that's a big blow to them. That's, but they got rid of you know. So where are they at now? They have well, Pokemon. They have one, and then they have what? Look, let's see. One there, and now they have one, two, three. Let's see four. Oh, how many of the other was that? How many? Uh, five. So was that like six, maybe? Seven. So they're, they're, they're getting close. They're getting close. They didn't discard it. If they have an Ultra Ball, it might. Okay, they're pivoting. That's good, too. So Counter Catcher. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. I gotta say, I'm fine with that. Um, so this is nice. This is very nice for me. So send up the gold dingo. Well, no, I'll send up a, Dun a Dunsparce, right? Because he's he's free retreat. That that's the obvious play there. So um, actually, I don't know if that was the right play. So I'll evolve him. I will. I have knockout. Him. So I will. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have sent him up. Now that I think about it, I don't, I don't know, because because I want to draw two with Goldengo, right? So I don't know that I need maximum belt for this matchup. I might, but I might not, right? Might not. So let me grab Dunsparce. Um, I have a ton of energies, so do I want to? So what do I want here? What two cards do I want? Do I just want something to discard, maybe? Maybe I do. All right, so let me, I'm gonna, I want the Dunsparce for sure. And I mean, I could just grab two to Dunsparces. Honestly, it wouldn't be terrible, right? Um, oh, maybe I wanna, you know what? I think I'm gonna Lost City, because that hurts them. That hurts them, so. I, I like that. I like that a lot. So, draw, grab my two cards now. Thank you. Thank you. Bench. Evolve him. Want to knock you out and don't not ramp up your damage. And now I want to. I want a superior energy retrieval. And what do I? I get rid of maximum belt. Do I want? access to the Dunsparce next turn or want access to the energies in the discard pile, right? That's kind of my question. I think I'll make this play one, one, two, three. Oh, I, I made a mistake, didn't I? Because I need to attach energy, right? So I need one more energy, right? Okay, I, I can get it. I'm not, I don't love my sequencing there, I will say, okay. Arvin, I use my supporter already. Um, so I'll done sparse as well. I'd like to hit an energy, right? That's what I'd like to hit. Um, hmm. Oh wait, you know what I want to do? I have, I have a, I, I drew into switch, so that's actually very good for me, right? I'll attack with the man who's damaged. They'll finish him off next turn, probably, but I have Knockout, and Knockout is really good, right? So, Knockout's good. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, because I don't want to get, I don't want to have to use another rod for like one energy. That would have been very bad. Um, so, take a prize. It's a single prize matchup, so it's a little, it's dice. You know, I still could lose this thing. I could definitely lose this thing. Um, can they one-shot me at the end? That's going to be the question. 
And I don't know what's going to happen here. I, if the Lost City sticks around, that's huge. Okay, so now... Let's see, what's their uh, Dark Patch? They played three Dark Patches, though. So that's... Okay. Um... They're back on my active. I can counter catcher. I can counter catcher the Roaring Moon EX, right? Which is actually pretty good. So, um, yeah, that, that's good. So, because they're going to attack with the single prize. I can make this work. What's my rod situation, by the way? Three. Okay. So, because I'm going to need, I need a lot. I need now need what I need. Okay. I mean, I'm, all right. So they're giving up there. Okay, that's an interesting play. So, um, but they just need to boss. So the, the, they can boss and take him out next turn. That, that, that's unfortunate for me. Um, so they have to use their big attack. So... The good news is I don't need much energy, right? I can't send up the gold dingo that's damaged, though. Uh, Professor Turo's scenario would be really good in this case, but this is, you know, I mean, it would be. I, it would be. So I don't play that, unfortunately. So, so let me get this guy into... Let me thin the deck a little bit here. Just take a look at what's here. I, okay, not terrible. I mean, not great, right? I just need, what, two energies? Um, so my energy retrieval here, I think, or do I, maybe I Arvin here? I'll Arvin here. What else do I have? Oh, I could get down the other to Dunsparce, maybe. I think I like that play. Just set up next turn really, really well. And, uh, yeah. So... Alright, so I will... I mean, I'm going to take the knockout, so I don't need this. I don't... I don't think I need that either. I'm, I'm just, I'm all in on this. I can't evolve. That's right. That's right. That's right. I keep, I just played it down this turn. So let me see what I hit here. I wouldn't mind. Uh, I got an energy, which I kind of like that. Um, so I'll play this, get rid of this. I might want the rod still, right? Um, I don't think I need the cap, so ditch that guy. One, two. Okay. So let me draw my two cards here. I should just—I should have done this before, shouldn't I? Lady, which is good. Um, I should—I should draw the. Uh, do I want more energy in the deck? I will, I have Lady, right? So let me, I think, I think I do want to toss energy in the deck. Boss is good as well. Okay. So just do that. Maybe I'll, I'll drop in there. I'll drop him in. He, he might be useful. So I just smack with two energies, and I, I lose next turn, probably. But, um, you know, they, they know I have knockout in hand right now. Um, they, they could put me down. If they don't have what they need, they could Iono me down to one, of course. That would be difficult, too. Um, they just, they need boss, and they probably, you know, they should, they, they have enough to take out the gold. I don't know if they can, the damage, but I don't know if they can take out my health, my full HP gold dingo. I just, I don't know the numbers on that. So I'm, I, I'm not going to try to figure it out. How many do they need for that? They need 70 plus. 
So they need 190. So they need 19 in there. Let's see what they have. They have one, two, they have four there. Um, do they have nine? All right, I guess we'll find out what they do. Oh, so this might, this probably, this just might get it there. So they might one shot me. If they don't one shot me, it's just game for me. Um, all right, and they could play counter catcher too. Counter, I mean, they definitely have the golden go on the bench. I'm pretty sure is a guarantee. They're out of, out of cards too. So 240, so they missed it. So super nice there. Super nice. I didn't think they could. It got it got really close. You know, really close. I will uh, take the knockout. Honestly, I don't have to. They they deck themselves out in the process, right? Two. Um, so I, I I could just pass and not attack. But close game, right? The single prize matchup was scary because uh, you know it, the gold thing OEX. I don't know that it loves the single prize matchups. Especially when they're that tanky, when they're 200 HP, I need four energies each turn. It's not easy. It's it's a lot of energies, and I have to keep recovering all the more. Right, 200, four energies, 200 damage to take just one prize, which means I got to do that potentially five, six times, and that puts a big strain on the resources. But was able to get it out just barely, and look at that, up to level 72, and I got 50 coins for cosmetics. Okay. But it, but the deck worked. It was it was a a, a, a tough a, a slow game, but uh, got through it. All right, I will choose heads. Hopefully, get a more lively game this time. Uh, got the W. I'm, you know, I'm in the end of late the day tired kind of mode. My voice is kind of worn out and uh, low energy. I got to say, just low energy. Uh, so ho hopefully, you're enjoying the gameplay so i you know it is what it is i i um i would like to get this recorded partly i gotta say since arceus league is is they made it kind of obtainable i'm up to what ultra league or whatever it is uh, i will bench i'll drop down the greninja i don't because i don't necessarily want man if you can play at all right i don't love obviously neither this is not what i want to start but what i'm up against here uh so lost zone with iron hands i assume so we'll see so i'll i need cards so wow this is those weren't the cards i wanted um this is really actually pretty terrible i really kind of need all right so i'm going to earth and vessel because i gotta thin things out here is what needs to happen so i will grab what do i have for energies i guess i do i just have one so Okay, just thinning things out. I need to get Pokemon in play, right? That's what needs to happen. So just getting reducing the energies in hand, right? To, I, I really would like the. Um, uh, this is this is pretty terrible. No, this is actually just all full out terrible. So I'm gonna end turn. It's this is probably just a hard loss. This this is, you know, and look at all these cards I got. I. I Oh, man, I when I discarded two in the discard pile, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Plus two, so I saw fourteen cards, and not one. And I play five cards that would at least get me one Pokemon into play. I mean, I could have dropped the Manaphy down, but I mean, I, I think at this point, I, I you know, I because I can't attack next turn, so I, you know. Um, Manaphy, I guess, will become useful if I, you know, if I, I might just survive this turn. We'll see. Um, Kramer doesn't actually knock me out, too, so um, it's possible, right? So are they gonna... Okay, they play the switch card. Okay. Let's see what they have. So they might, you know, and, if, and they could still play a jet energy for two more, you know, to set up a third comfy, and then he, they can retreat him. They really obviously want to get a call versus experiment. That's what they desperately want here. Um, I, they might have it. They, you know, sequencing is always a, a question between the comfies and the call risk. When do you do what, right? Um, you get less of a choice with comfy, so I think generally you kind of want to do that first because then you you get more of a choice with the call risk. So know what you're, you know, just get a sense of your limitations. Okay, so that's actually pretty stinking good. Okay, so I can... 
<laughs> I mean, it's it's good in a certain sense, right? It's good in the sense of uh, the world has ended kind of thing. So I think I, I'm going to put down two Gimme Ghouls. I'm going to drop down Manaphy this, this turn as well. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll draw those two. Actually, that was stupid of me. I was supposed to grab the um, Buddy Buddy Poffin. So I'm, oh, wow, this, this is terrible. I, I am playing just like complete garbage now, aren't I? Because then I could have filled up, I could have got all the Pokemon I wanted to play. So that that's just pretty, pretty unforgivable. So I, I'm just going to retreat um, because there's no rope in format anymore. If there's rope in format, maybe I should have left the Manaphy on the bench though, because Manaphy is going to be important here. Um. I assume they can attack with Radiant Greninja. Maybe they can't, right? It, it just depends, right? They got Colorus this turn. Um, yeah, I, I should have filled my bench. I should have two um, Dun, Dunsparce as well on the bench. So that was just horrible on my part. I, I was like, okay, I'll get Gimme Ghoul. And I, you know, that was just not thinking. Just not thinking on my part. Uh, so, I mean, they got a lot of cards. They have Free Retreat. All right, getting rid of the water energy. I mean, I can recover the Manaphy, right? I, I'm thinking I, I need to set up. The reason I, I, I kept the... I, I, I sent up the Manaphy is I need to... I need to keep setting up. Um, wow, I'm just so annoyed at myself for being such a such an idiot there. Um, not grabbing Buddy Buddy Poffin, right? There's just no excuse for that. I should have two Duns, Dunsparces on the bench right now now and that would be much better than where i'm at now but we'll see what happens my opponent is i mean i assume they're gonna hit me with a cram right here and take a prize um and i'm okay with that i might actually want to take out that radiant greninja too uh because the nice thing i can use counter catcher once they take a prize too which does have some value i don't know what they play is it is it just a single prize well they play iron hands right so it might just be a, a bit of a box. They might play the, the iron leaves as well. Wow. So they are, I mean, they're, they're get, getting seven to the lost zone here, though. So they're doing well with that, which means they can use. Um, so the, if they have canceling cologne, then I'm in a lot of trouble because then they can take up both gimme cools. Um, right? if, if they have can't, because they could get, you know, at this point, they can use. Um, Oh, man, I'm tired. They can use the tool to get the energies accelerated, right? I mean, the item card, you know. Uh, okay, well, they they failed that. So that's that's really nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so... Oh, I could, I could get rid of their tool. I could do that. All right, let's, let's get rid of an energy. I, I need to switch now. I thought I was going to get knocked out. I wasn't... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This, this game has the game hung on me now. Will it sort itself out? Um, it finally sorted itself. That's good. So I'll get down to oh, one to, one Dunsparce, okay, and one Gimme Ghoul to the higher HP one because Sable is a real threat here. So, but I can't manually attach. I mean, I could, but then I can't attack, and not attacking doesn't feel good. I gotta say. So, I have one switch card in deck, right? That's what I'm hoping to dig out now. So I'll draw a card. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I, I mean, I will attach an energy to a Goldengo probably and just end my turn. Um, and this is the way I could manually retreat next turn if, I, if, I, if I'm still around. And there's no, I don't need, I mean, I, I don't need to do anything else. I could get rid of their tool. Do I want to get rid of their tool? I don't think I do. Mm, maybe. I will get rid of their tool. Mm, I'm gonna. All right, I will. I will. I'll get. I don't want the lost the nest fall right because that's the card I don't need. So just do that. And end turn there. Okay. So you know, just slowing them down a little bit. Hopefully, I mean. I mean, they've done very well. They have eight in the loss zone, so they, they could Sableye this next turn as well. Um, and he does take out the Dunsparce. So, and, well, I mean, he takes out a man. If he takes out a Gimme Ghoul, too. Um, 
but he could take out two Dunsparces, potentially. So if they get Sableye going, Dunsparce does not come back into play. Um, you know, I'll, I, I evolve this this Gimme Ghoul if, if they leave him alive. Um, if they knock him out, then they can't take out the Dunsparce, and then I can hopefully get hit of the Dunsparce and get rid of him. I'll attach manually to Manaphy, retreat into the Goldenga, so I get two from the Goldenga on my turn, right? I will attach probably the Psychic Energy, because um, again, Psychics, they, I can recover with the one with, with Tulip. Uh, what, what's in my discard? This means to get a sense. Okay, so set up the Manaphy. Obviously, I thought I was going to get knocked out. So, so they'll take the knock out the Manaphy, get two prizes. It's not, t but then I should be able to. I need to. I should be able to one shot the Iron Hands. So okay, so they they got another tool into play, which is fine. Um, Mirage Gate. So they need to get a fourth energy, though, right? So they need another Mirage Gate. If they can get one more Mirage Gate, they actually they take two prizes. Um, Okay, so they might just swing right in, into the Iron Hands. They might not do anything else, in which case I'm going to... And if this hand sits, they did Colorus, right, I, I'm hoping? Uh, yeah, so I, I'm going to drop... So this is good. I have Lost City. So now Lost City really comes into play. They're going to take two prizes. I should be able to one-shot them. And I it, look, if I can't one... Sh yeah, no, I can one-shot them because I have five energies, six, seven. I need, what, five times... I need five energies to take the knockout, so... Um, send him up because I want to draw two with that. I'm going to evolve this guy because I mean I, I don't want I need to get rid of this the Duns this Dunsparce. That's easy to do. I just need to evolve him and then use the ability. So Lady Patrol Cap could be a nice card as well. I might want that. Okay, so. Um, do I want to, I'll re Ninja Greninja because I do want, what it was I wanted? I want, I want that stage two, I mean the stage one. Okay, counter catcher, but I don't need counter catcher here. So I will, might as well kind of just keep drawing here, right? Let's see what I, I get. I'm going to ditch that. Okay, Iono's fine. Um, that could be good, too, this turn. Um, disrupt this, my opponent. All right, well, this is turning out to be a tremendous, tremendous hand. So I'm going to... I'm not going to toss away. I'm going to toss away Nest Ball and... What's the... What's my dex? I'll get rid of Iono. You know, these all these cards are just beautiful. So, okay, do that. Grab the Dunsparce. I've, I've just got the most insane hand ever, I think, actually, right? Get him out of play because he's a liability in this matchup, I think. Okay, I have boss as well, but boss is okay. I don't, I don't mind boss. Um... So I'll attach here. If they, in case they can knock me out, I will toss down Lost City. I need what five energy, so I get rid of Counter Catcher. I'll get rid of Patrol Cap. I hope I don't regret it. Um, I could regret it, but I'm gonna do that because I think I do. I want Lady. Lady could end up being really clutch for me, too. No, I don't think I need Lady. So I'll ditch Lady. In fact, I'm going to toss on the patrol cap. Right, so at this point, I'm doing 250. Um, I want to knock out that active Pokemon. And they can't... So this is really good. So this is really nice. So one, two, three, four, five... So I tie up the game, and he's lost. Then and he's lost. So and they probably just—I'm trying to think. I think it's just one copy. They might play two. Hopefully, they just play the one. 
And I don't really want to drop down any more Dunsparces because they have the ability to attack with Sableye. Now, what's their energies they play? So for, they have Dark, okay. Dark and Lightning is all I've seen. Okay, so... And hopefully there's not another... If they don't have another Iron Hands EX, I'm liking my position, right? They, they can easily... Iron Hands takes... One-shots the uh, Radiant Greninja, right? They one-shotted the... Uh, Manaphy. I, I need to get Manaphy back. Um, I think. I have Rod, so I should be able to get him. So I can get him back. Um, he's he's in the, Yeah, he's right there. So, um, so I'll get rid of Lost City, unfortunately. But I do have a second copy, right? I don't think I have... Yeah, I have the second copy, so I, if, if need be. Um, the other cards I'm not so concerned about, right? I wouldn't mind getting rid of Radiant Greninja, actually. If I, think, if, if I get the Lost City, I'll get rid of Radiant Greninja, because then I don't have to worry about Manaphy, because then my bench is safe. I think I, you know, I don't know what all they play in the deck. Uh, i trying to think. Is it a Roaring Moon? Um, trying to remember the Dark, dark Saw. Okay, so getting back the energies. Not so worried about the lightning energy. So, although was it just one dark anyway? Yeah. So that, I mean, they could have got two lightnings, but I, I'm assuming that they don't have iron. That's an indication that they don't have iron hands anymore. Um, I'm in a very nice spot here. So, so iron bundle, which is fine. It just makes me switch. Which, but I'll just set up my other Goldengo. Now they, they I I don't right they got the guy with the cap on the bench though so that could be you know if they play eerie um, then I'll be very sad they haven't used the support yet I don't think right so this game is taking some time we both have you know I'm, I'm playing a little slow I'm feeling a little slow I gotta say this time of day right now play a little slow but also you know there's a lot of decisions for both of us um, and obviously they're, they're actually taking more time than I am. Um, have, did they go first? I'm trying to think now. How's it now? So, so, and they haven't finished, you know. So, okay. Raikou. Well, that's I like that. I, that seems like a mistake to me, because um, I'm going to knock him out. I don't think. Uh, well, if they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What nine? So it's doing 180. So they need the um... no. I think even with the tool, the uh, master belt, they don't one shot me. So um... really, okay. I mean, I take two prizes off this, so um... it's really it's just great for me. I think so. Um, I don't think they knock me out either. So I just take grab two prizes i'm two prizes away for the win so i don't like that raikou play i don't i mean unless i'm miscalculating unless they have a way to one shot me um then obviously if they can one shot me then it then it's all very different so they're going to grab something from the deck i won't know what it is um if they play uh eerie well then i'll be very sad i'll lose i can still one shot them though i think well maybe I mean, if they get rid of these two superior energy retrievals, that would be very, very bad, right? And, uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens there. I mean, if they have, the, if they make that play, I I will say, get, say hats off to them for that. So I've played one, so they're bossing up, I guess, Radiant Greninja. And I don't care about that. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. And, that, and that's an indication, too, that they don't have Iron Hands, because they want him and play for Iron Hands, because Iron Hands one-shots him. So send him up. I want the tool. Um, I don't want to really do anything else here. I, I can peek at my deck if I want to. But um, I'll just grab some cards. Pokey Stop. Might drop down the Pokey Stop. I'm thinking. I don't want to use Pokestop, but I might just bench it. I might just toss it down. Okay, so... Need to recover some energies now. Okay, well, this is really good. So I will... Pokestop. I can rod some energies back as well. So how do I want to do this? I just, I just need four energies, right? So 
I don't want Buddy Buddy Poffin. Like, I, in case for some reason I think I need, I want a little engine, but I don't think I really do. Um, one, two, three, four. Do I want to try to grab it? What do I want to do here? Um, I have knockout. Do I want to put energy back in deck? I think maybe I do. I think I want to toss and I have three energies and I think more energies in deck is good because I'm, I'm concerned about getting my deck disrupted, right? That part's not good for me. So I, I, I want to keep these other, these other items. So boom, take the knockout. I, I want to keep the other energy retrievals, right? The superior and the basic and the regular. I like the boss. It's, it's a really nice hand, obviously. Um, they'll send up a comfy. Um, okay, not the comfy with the... Uh, so they must have switch in hand, I'm guessing. Or, yeah, probably switch would be the most logical thing. Why they didn't set up the one with the retrieval, uh, with the rescue board, right? That is the correct name. Yes, rescue board. So um, if they have switch, then it's better for them, right? They... At this point, I have boss. So if they if they drop down a, a, a two prizer, and they don't disrupt my hand, what's what's the? Let's check their loss zone. What, what have they got in there? One colorless. I would love, you know, I wouldn't mind them colorissing again either, just because I don't know if they're out now. They have one more sitting around somewhere, which very well may be in hand. Um, three mirage gates. Do they have? Okay, so they bumped my stadium, and I didn't really want to. I, it was possible I could have used it if I was a bit desperate, because it does get me the the energy retrieval cards, right? Um, but so they got to look at their prizes. I don't think they swapped something out. Did it? Would it tell them? Just they shuffle. Okay, so they just shuffled their prizes. So I'm gonna send up the guy with the board, I assume. They probably play some dead energy, I guessing. So, um, let's see. They have down two rods there, and and rods are a big deal too with this deck. They're da they're out of rods, so that's not good either for them. So, what any energies in this here? They've got two, one, two there, and they have five. So they're down seven energy, and they can't recover them now. I don't think. I mean, they could play an energy retrieval. But they probably don't. They're out of rods, so I'm, I'm. I think I just. I think I have this game locked up. But we will see what happens. Um. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Um. I don't. Th let's 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 see what they bench. All right. So let's see. One water. Can they pull off? And the radiant Greninja is actually not that big a problem. So they failed the nest ball too. I think they're just trying stuff at this point. I th I'm. Pretty certain that this is going to be game within a couple turns for me. Um, I'd love them to bench a, a drop down a two prizer to try and set something up. Um, I don't think they're going to do that because I so cram right there. I mean, that's fine. Um, that's fine. I just, I just, I knock them out so easily. It's kind of, all right. So, Roxanne, though, but this is look, they, I get what two, two cards. I have Goldengo for, uh, Two and another Goldengo, another Gold. So they're going to gust up the guy with that energy. So that this is awkward now because I now need energy to attach, and I need three energies in hand for knockout. And that might not happen here. That might not happen. So do I want to put back a supporter? Let's see what would I have here. Iono. Iono would be. Yeah, I think I'll put back some supporters. Uh, I think those are plus my. Uh, the items I wanted are at the bottom of the deck, too. So I will... Cypher Maniacs is really good for me. Actually, I don't really think I want Iono. I don't really want to get down to two cards. So I'll just do Cypher, Ma Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. If I hit that, then I can guarantee what I get here. So I think I want to grab the two cards here. Um, uh, switch. Well, oh, that's... That's true. Okay, so now I want to switch here. I want to switch because I get I get an extra card, right? I get an extra card with this, so this is good. I now I just need 
Uh, I mean, that was a smart play. Uh, okay, that's exactly what I, I wanted there. And I'll grab a card here. And I don't think I need maximum. I, I'll. Okay, so I will. I need to energy. Oh, just uh, energy. Oh, this isn't good, actually. I don't have it, do I? I thought it was superior energy retrieval. It's not. It is just regular energy retrieval, which means I don't have the knockout. What's the boss situation? I want to attach an energy to this other guy. So they countered Ketchered. There's a boss. They could still be stalling me, right? Um, so, all right, I'm going to energy retrieval. It's not great. Um, and I'm not going to attack here because I don't think it's good to do that. So I could gust something up. Maybe do I want to gust something up and just try to stall him? Might as well, right? Might as well play the boss. Gust up the, uh, the Manaphy. They're about to deck out too. And now I will just end turn here. I, I could attack, but I don't get knockout. Oh, I could have... I could have bossed for a knockout on the man if he couldn't I, but I think that's okay. This is okay. So they, so they have the retreats. We'll see what they send up. Are they going to send up a comfy? No, they're just not Cramorant. So, um... <laughs> and they have to get through two of these guys, and they, they're three-shotting him. So I don't really think that's going to happen. Um, two energies, so that's I'm most of the way there now. All right, I'm going to get rid of the two to Dunsparces. I still don't, I think they might play Sableye. So let me just grab this guy. Just thinning the deck out, just because I need energy. I need ways to grab energy, right? That's what I need. Um, so boss is good. I mean, I'll take the knockout with boss if, if that's what I need to do. But I'd like, I'd rather take out the Cramorant if I can. I can. Was there one more Pokemon in the deck? Let me thin the deck anyway. So let me thin, thin, thin. There is another Pokemon, which is good too. Just increases the odds of energy or something that draws me one energy. I have, I, I will boss something up though. Okay, so I have Knockout and I think I should do that this turn. Um, energy Retrieval, just looking at the counts of things. Okay, so all pretty good so I'll just take the knockout here I you know I'd rather knock out the the, 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 the threat right he's still I'm not sure they can take all their prizes before they deck out also but um all right tulip that 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 gives me game and they conceded so um you know their only hope was that I couldn't get the knockout there but I, I you know I was gonna get the knockout um, and I think the sequencing at the end there was, was okay. Um, trying to maximize, you know, Iono goes to the bottom, so doing something to reset the deck when you want to do that. Um, boss, trying to take, not trying to prioritize what I want to knock out and such. So anyway, got the job done in a very um, awkward match. Although that matchup, right, a, a big card in that matchup was the Lost City, getting rid of the Iron Hands was good. It only, it, it, they attacked with it once, grabbed two, two prizes with it, but they couldn't do that again and then got took out the, the, uh, the Raikou, I think. So anyway, the deck is um, it's better. I, I do like this engine. It, it's two things. It's a fun engine, I think, and it is um, it's better than having the, um, the Curly Ascent on the bench. I think that's just too much of a liability right now with the way the meta is. Could you replace a stadium and get down artisan maybe i don't think i'd want five or six stadiums so could i drop could i drop a stadium or two i could maybe i'd go to one lost city and then drop something else maybe pokey stop or i don't i think i want to keep at least one lost city so maybe artisan in the deck would be the one modification um just to it helps with the Dunsparces, right? The streaming of that. It helps your opponent too. So that's always the, the tough thing where I don't kind of, I don't always love it because a lot of the time you're helping your opponent as much as yourself. But anyway, Gold Dingo, take a look at the upgraded list. Give it a try. I think it's fun. I think you'll find it's better. And let, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, take care and have some fun playing Pokemon.